Master made his case. Come on, brother. It was clear that I was guilty. Yes. From the look on my face, assured of my sentence. Come on. And resigned to my fate. The judge, he made it certain that I was led. Yes. 
making me whole, saving my soul. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, bless Him. I wasn't going to do this this early, but the Lord's leading this way. So is this microphone on? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm on. Just mute mine. Praise the Lord. Bless him, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. And a voice that can talk. Hey, 
Come on, brother. Yeah.
God bless. Bless you, brother. What you see in front of you this morning is nothing but a sinner saved by grace. Made by mercy, shaped and formed in the love of God. I am not. I stand amazed in the presence Amen. of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. Amen. After what he's done in my life. God bless you. You said, why do you get so excited? Why do you, so why do you get excited shout? About why do you cry? Amen. Oh, if you knew what he's done for me. Bless. Oh, you'd shout and you'd cry and you'd snot and you'd be a big baby just like I am. Because I know what God's done for me. Amen. I know what he's done. I know where he's brought me from. I know what he's brought me from. I know what he's delivered me from. I know what he's kept me from. Amen. And I'm just standing here this morning and I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Bless he you. He doesn't throw the clay away. Amen. Amen.
this morning is hurting. Maybe you're this close to giving up. Come on. Can I tell you this morning that whatever is going on in your life, whatever the problem, whatever the situation, whatever the whatever the trouble, I have the answer for you. Amen. His name is Jesus. That's right. And He is the answer. So if I could just encourage you this morning just to keep on. Be brave. Hold fast. Have faith. Amen. Are you tired and distressed? Weary saint in need of rest. Side my pardon is Christ. 
just took all my blame. But I'm called to answer for my history. Calvary answers for me. This is all my past, amen. Yes. And I feel the heartbeat of God's mercy inside me. And now I have found true joy at last. I live in freedom by the devil's chains. They the time. Amen. If you have your Bible this morning, if you would, uh, turn with us to Psalm chapter 85. Psalm 85, uh, beginning at verse number 6. We're going to read down through verse number 8. Psalm 85, beginning at verse number 6. We ask uh, uh, when you have that, if you're able, if you would, stand with us in reverence for the reading of the Word of God. Uh, amen. If you're not able, we understand. The Bible said, Will thou not revive us again, uh, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, uh, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear of what God the Lord will speak for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints but let them not turn again to folly. Heavenly Father most righteous God Lord as we come in that name that's above every name. Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord I thank you that your word's anointed that it'll accomplish that that you send it forth to accomplish but Lord I know without you that I can do nothing so I ask Lord that you'd anoint me with the Holy Ghost and with power. Uh, my Lord, anoint our ears to hear and our hearts to receive your yes. word. Uh, my Lord, and we ask again as David asked, let the words of our mouth uh, and the meditation of our heart be acceptable uh, in thy sight, O oh my Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Uh, and I'll never fail to give you the praise amen. and the honor and the glory. Uh, for it's in the name of Jesus that we pray today. Amen. Uh, and amen. You can be seated God bless. Uh, in the house of the Lord. God bless. Uh, this week I thought about how we talked about 
can there be revival here? And we talked about where God is. And we talked about, amen, why we need revival. Yes. So this morning, I want to answer for us another question. If the Lord will help us, I want to title the message this morning, How Can We Have Revival? How Can We Have Revival? Amen. I don't know about you, Blessing. but revival to me is more than just a series of services. Yes. Uh, that we set aside that we call revival. Right. Uh, but revival uh, uh, is when God comes down. Yes. Uh, and He breathes the breath of life in yes. us again. Uh, amen. And we begin to feel uh, uh, the Spirit of God once again. Amen. Uh, and we begin to be renewed uh, uh, in His Spirit. Uh, amen. And I found a time uh, in 1 Kings 18 where the nation of Israel was in need of revival. Uh, uh, amen. I can't speak for you this morning. Uh, uh, I can't speak for your community, Blessing. Uh, uh, for your family, for your nation. Uh, uh, but I can tell you where I live. Uh, uh, we need revival. Amen. Uh, uh, amen. I can tell you where I'm at. I need revival. Uh, uh, amen. And in 1 Kings 18, the Bible said, and Elijah said unto all the people, uh, uh, come near unto me. And all the people came near to him. Uh, and he repaired the altar of the Lord uh, yes. uh, that was broken down. Yes. Uh, and Elijah led uh, uh, one of the greatest revivals in the Old Testament. But the nation of Israel repented. But they turned their hearts back to God. Amen. And it started when He repaired the altar. Amen. Amen. And so I want us to look at. Amen. Typically, when I think about an altar, I don't know what you think about, but I think about it as being a place of prayer, a place where the people of God came, but to get a hold of God, a place where they came, but to reach the throne of heaven. Amen. So I want us to look at that word prayer. I pray today. Amen. I'm going to leave off the last two. We're just going to pray. Amen today. And when I think about that word pray, if you don't know, I learned from Brother Blake, so I like to spell a whole lot when I preach. If y'all ain't figured it out, we like to spell a whole lot when we preach. So we're going to spell the word pray today and see if we can find some ways that we can pray to have revival. Amen. And that first letter is P. And I thought about praise. About how that we need to praise God. But say yes. 20 and 21. I yes. said when he had consulted with the people, right. he appointed singers unto the Lord and that shout praise right, to the beauty of his holiness as they went out before the army to say praise the Lord right, for his mercy it endures forever. forever. Right. Amen. You know we got a lot of traditions in church and a lot of them have their foundation in scripture. We don't just do things a lot of times to be doing them. But you ever wondered why a lot of times we sing at the beginning of service because God gave Jehoshaphat a battle plan that the praisers ought to be out in front. Amen. They ought to remind the people as they're going into battle that God is good. Amen. And His mercy endures forever. Right. Amen. I love that thing that the Scripture says. It says, come and magnify the Lord with me. Have you ever had a magnifying glass? It doesn't change the size of what you're looking at. It just helps you to see it better. That's what my praise does. I can't make God any bigger than He already is. But He's already so big that with the very palm of His hand He measured out the oceans. He's already so big right. that the sound of His voice keeps the stars yes. in the sky. He's already so big that when He spoke things came into existence. I said I serve a great big job. A God. Amen. But a whole lot of times, Bless him, God. I allow the cares of this life, uh, the troubles, the struggles, the battles, uh, to cause my vision uh, to be affected. Uh, but where I need to get out the old magnifying glass uh, and I need to look at him again uh, so that I can see him more clearly. Uh, that's what they did here. Uh, they said they should praise uh, the beauty of holiness. Uh, and they should say, praise the Lord uh, for his mercy uh, endures forever. Uh, I said I serve a merciful God. Amen. 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 And if 
we're going to have revival. Uh, we need to get back uh, to where we praise the yes. Lord. Uh, amen. Second Chronicles 3 said, And Hezekiah appointed uh, uh, the courses of the priests and the Levites. Uh, after their courses, every man according to his service, uh, uh, the priests and the Levites for burnt offerings and for peace offerings, uh, uh, to minister uh, and to give thanks uh, and to praise in the gates uh, of the tents of the Lord. Uh, uh, amen. I can remember as a young man growing up, uh, uh, when we went to the house of God, uh, uh, people modeled that scripture. Uh, uh, they said, enter into his gates uh, with thanksgiving. Yes. And into his courts with praise. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, Pastor taught this morning uh, how we need to get back to where we reverence uh, uh, the house of God. Amen. Uh, uh, one way we can do that, uh, as soon as the doors swing open, uh, uh, we ought to say praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Lord, I want to enter in uh, uh, to your presence. Yes. Uh, uh, David said it's in his presence, uh, his fullness of joy. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but there's been many times uh, uh, that my bank account of joy has been a little little bit low. Come on. And that's usually at the times that I'm getting behind on my praise. Come on. Because David said he inhabits the praise of his yes. people. Amen. So many people say, well, I don't feel God like I used to. Well, let me ask you this morning, do you praise Him? Like Amen. Amen. Do you get in? That's you it. Raise your hand? Yes. Say, Lord, you're worthy of the glory and yes. the honor and the power. Lord, you're worthy Amen. of the praise this morning. Amen. 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 And Ezra said, and when the builders uh, uh, laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, uh, uh, they set the priest in the power with trumpets, uh, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, uh, uh, to praise the Lord. Uh, uh, after the ordinance of David, king of Israel, uh, and they sang together by course in praising uh, and giving thanks in the Lord. Uh, uh, why? Uh, uh, because He is good. Amen. Uh, for His mercy endureth forever. Uh, uh, amen. And all the people uh, uh, shout with a great shout. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord uh, because the foundation uh, of the house of the Lord was laid. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, so many times, uh, I don't know about you, uh, uh, but I wanted to wait until God got done uh, before I give Him the praise. Come on. Uh, my Lord, if you'll heal me, uh, I'll praise you. Uh, uh, but here I find in it. Come on. Uh, they wasn't finished yet. Uh, they had just began. Uh, and they took a break in the middle uh, and said, God, we thank you. Uh, uh, that you got us this far. Uh, Amen. It was just the foundation. Uh, uh, there wasn't no walls. Uh, uh, there wasn't a roof yet. Uh, uh, but right in the middle. Uh, Amen. Uh, they said, God, I thank you uh, uh, that you began. Uh, Amen. I want to praise God. Uh, uh, not for what he's finished. Uh, but for what he started. Uh, uh, because the Apostle Paul said. Uh, uh, being confident in this very thing. Uh, uh, he that begun a good work. Shall perform uh, it. you shall perform Amen. it. Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. Uh, uh, let's not wait till the end. Uh, uh, let's not wait till the finish. Uh, uh, let's not wait till it's done. Uh, Come on. Uh, I say, God, I thank you. Right now. Uh, Amen. Amen. It. Uh, uh, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Uh, uh, that I'm on my way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yet, but I'm on my way. Amen. I'm on my way. Yes. I see my family saved yet. Oh, but God, I thank you. Amen. I said they stopped in the middle. They didn't wait till it was done. They began to praise Him. Amen. I'm looking forward to heaven. It's going to be a 24 hour, seven day a week. There ain't even time there. It's going to be an eternal worship service. Amen. And some of us are going to get tired if we don't get in some practice. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to be ready Come on. for heaven. Amen. Amen. Our brother was singing, amen, about the blessings of God. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. About how good God is. Amen. I don't know about you, but that's going to be a lot like heaven for me. Amen. Amen. I know the walls are jasper, but I ain't going for them. Amen. I know the streets are gold, but I ain't going for them. Amen. I know the gates are pearl, but I ain't going for them. I'm going for the one that lifted me up out of that horrible pit. Yes. That started me 
on my journey. I said, I ain't there yet. But Paul said, I have not yet attained. I ain't got where I'm going yet. But the foundation has been laid in Jesus. So I want to stop for just a little while. And say, Lord, I don't see the whole picture yet. But you're still worthy. Amen. Of the praise. Amen. We're going to have revival. We're going to have to praise. Amen. 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 I'm going to read you a few more scriptures. There's probably a thousand. I don't know how many. There's a bunch in scripture, but I'm going to give you some. David said, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in Him and I am helped. Have you ever been helped by the Lord? Amen. Have many times. Been helped? He said, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. And with my song, will I praise Him. Amen. David said, the Lord is my strength and my shield. When that devil comes and he throws Amen. dogs at me, God is my shield. He keeps me Amen. from the attack of the enemy. When I feel weak, I'm able to say I am strong. Because he said his strength is made perfect in my weakness. He's my strength. Blessing. And I am helped. I said, God has helped me. Amen. I remember about 10 years ago, I'm going to tell myself just a little bit. I was crying. I was weeping. Uh, my wife had been to the doctor uh, and they said we don't know if you're going to be able to have children uh, we don't know what's wrong they did tests and they did this and they did that and uh, they did all these things and I called Brother Blake and uh, uh, amen uh, sometimes you need somebody to talk straight to you amen, amen. Yeah. I called Brother Blake and I was crying and I was heartbroken and, and I said well I guess we're just going to have to figure out if we got enough money to adopt I don't know what else we're going to do and Blake said, I thought you was praying. God, give me a child. He said, I am. But he ain't yet. He said, well, if God's your plan A, why do you need a plan B? Come on. If God's your plan A, why do you need a plan B? Amen. And from the day he told me that, as the course of time goes, is about 11 months. You can do the math there. Maybe 10. Somewhere in there. My wife had a baby. Amen. The doctor said, we don't know. God said, I know. Amen. Huh? Five years later, she had another baby. They put him in the NICU. The doctor come out shaking their head and said, Mr. Weinbarger, we don't know if your son's going to make it. We don't know what to tell you. We don't know. Amen. And so I just begin to call people. I couldn't even pray for myself. Have you ever been there? You yes. Pray for yourself? That's why we need one another. There's nothing more precious than church. Amen. Amen. Because we need one another. And when I couldn't pray for myself, a bunch of people began to pray. And in a few days, the doctor said, well, maybe you can have this much hope. In a few more days, they said, maybe you can have this much hope. And one day when my hope was just about run out, amen, I'm going to tell you the truth. And I told you I'm going to tell on myself. There was this nurse that came in. She said, Mr. Weinbarger, I want you to know I didn't know who I was going to take care of today, but I've been assigned to your son. And I want you to know I've done everything everything I can for that baby in there. But on my way to work this morning, I talked to the one that can do what I can't do. Yes. And he's going to help. Amen. And in just a little while, he helped. Amen. And baby got to go home. He'd had strokes. He'd had this thing and that thing. And the next few months, we went to doctor after doctor had test after test. And they said, we can't find anything wrong with him. Amen. Amen. I said, God I will help. Amen. Because he is a present help in the time of trouble. He's worthy. Amen. Pray. Yes. Amen. 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 The song of Solomon, when the king describes his bride, says, Her neck shall be like the tower of David, for it hangs the shields and bucklers of mighty men. It was a trophy case. Many of us got congestion. Amen. We don't get the praise out. God said that our throat ought to be a testimony to Amen. the Amen. That God is one in our lives. Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm going to take some time this morning because maybe I'm a little bit behind. I'm saying, God, you're good. Amen. You're worthy. Amen. I give, you, I give you glory and honor and praise. I said, I want to have revival. And it's going to start when my heart rejoices. Amen. In the Lord. Yes. Amen. 
And then that R-E at the front of rejoice in English, it just means again. And joyce just means joy. You know what the Bible tells us when it tells us to rejoice? Have joy again. Bless you, Lord. Amen. Come on. The same God that saved you. The same God that delivered you. Yes. The same God that healed you. He's still the same today. Amen. And the joy you felt when you got saved. Uh, the joy you felt when you got healed. Uh, the joy you felt when you got delivered. Uh, the joy you felt when the Lord came down and touched you. Uh, the Bible says, have it again. Amen. 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 Psalm 56, David said, in God. Will I praise His Word? In the Lord, I, I will praise His Word. Amen. Aren't you glad that God gave us 66 books, that love letter? Amen. Somebody said, I ain't never heard God talk. I ain't never heard Him with an audible voice. But every time I want to hear from Him, I just got to open it up. Amen. Amen. Psalm 52 and 9, David said, I will praise Thee forever because Thou hast done it. Amen. It's done. Whatever it is, it's done. Amen. And I will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints. I said it's done. Jesus said it is finished. Every need was supplied when he died on Calvary and he rose again. So it is done. Whatever you've been wanting, it is done. You just need to praise the Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. Because who he is. I said we need to be reminded sometimes that the God we serve, that he is the Lord of Lords. Amen. Kings, Come on. That his name is above every day. His name is higher than Joe Biden. It's higher than diabetes. It's higher than COVID. I said he's got a name that's above every name. Amen. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Amen. And every tongue confess. Amen. I said he's worthy of our praise this morning. Yes, brother. Psalm 100 said, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yes. Amen. You want to get in his presence, you don't got to ring a doorbell. You don't got to knock on the door. Come on. Amen. You just got to praise him. Amen. 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 Psalm 107, the Bible said, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. And for his wonderful works to the children of men. Has God been good to you? Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. God was good to me when I was lost. Amen. I could have died and went to hell. Amen. But he kept me. And he kept reaching out to me. Amen. That I might come to him. I said, God's good. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he's worthy of our praise. Psalm 115 said, The, the dead praise not the Lord. Amen. Neither any that go down into silence, but we. Lord, I want to be a but we this morning. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Psalm 117 said, For His merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Psalm 118 said, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me. Anybody ever prayed and God heard you? Amen. Anybody ever called out and he listened? Amen. David said, Because you've heard me, I'm going to praise you. Amen. Amen. And art become my salvation. Amen. I'm going to say something. I don't mean it as, as hard as it sounds. I'm not trying to be harsh. I love you. I appreciate you having me this week. But I'm going to say it. If you're saved and you ain't praising the Lord, you need to catch up a little bit. Amen. 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 Come on. I told you some things God has done for me and I could go on and on. Amen. I like that verse in that song. He said, The pen of the writer could write every day. Even the whole world could not contain. How much I've been blessed. How I've been blessed. Amen. But can I tell you, hell is so awful. I done told you it was. And the devil is such a liar and deceitful and destroyed my life for so many years. If God didn't do anything for me but save me, I still would need an eternity to pray. Amen. Amen. But that ain't all he did. That's right. Amen. But that alone would be enough that I'd have to praise Him yes. for all eternity. Amen. Because He died a death He didn't deserve so I could live a life I don't deserve. He's worthy of my praise. Amen. Amen. Psalm 50, 150 and 6. 
Very familiar verse in Psalm 150. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Amen. For most of my life I've suffered with asthma. And so I know how valuable uh, that, that breath is. And Lord, if you'll give me the next one, here's what I'm going to do with it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said, if you've got breath in your body, praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Psalm 103 said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Yes. I bless His holy name. I bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Amen. Do you know, when I applied for a new job, the first thing I want to know is what kind of benefits do they have? Do they got good insurance? How much vacation time am I going to get? Do they got a 401k? Am I going to be able to retire one day from this job? Anybody else? I look for a job and want to know what the benefits are. Like David said, Lord, I serve you. I don't want to forget that there's some benefits in serving the Lord. Amen. He forgives all my iniquities. He healeth all my diseases. He redeemeth my life from destruction. He crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies. I said there's some benefits and He's worthy of the praise. Amen. Amen. Let me move on. There's about ten more things I want to say about praise, but I want to move on here. Amen. The next letter in praise is R. Ezekiel 18 and 30 said, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his way, saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your yes. transgressions. Uh, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Uh, amen. Uh, I said if we're going to have revival, we're going to have to repent. Uh, we're going to have to turn our yes. hearts uh, and turn our hearts back to yes. God. Uh, the things we've allowed to creep in ahead of Him, the uh, uh, things we've made a priority over Him, uh, we're going to have to turn away from them. Uh, in Matthew 4, the Bible said, from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, uh, uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, uh, amen. In Acts 2 and 38, when they said, what must we do to be saved? Uh, uh, the first thing that Peter said is repent. Uh, amen. Revelation 2 and 16. Uh, Jesus said to the church, repent. Uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 said, If my people uh, who are called by my name uh, shall humble themselves and pray uh, and seek my face and turn uh, from their wicked ways. That's repenting. Uh, turn amen. from their wicked ways. Uh, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin uh, and will heal their land. Uh, Nehemiah 1 and 6. He said, Let now uh, thine ear be attentive and thine eyes open. Open, uh, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant which I pray before thee now day and night uh, uh, for the children of Israel and thy servants uh, and confess the sins uh, of the children of Israel which we have sinned against thee both I and my father's house uh, have sinned Nehemiah led a revival uh, and he started his prayer by repenting by saying God I'm sorry uh, uh, Lord we need you uh, uh, God we've forsaken you and looked to other things uh, uh, we trusted in men uh, uh, we trusted in denomination we trusted in politics uh, uh, we trusted in finances. Uh, we trusted in this thing and that thing uh, to make it better. Uh, God, we repent and we turn to you. Amen. 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 Bless him, Jesus. And here's what Lord, the Lord said to Joel through Joel. Joel chapter 2, Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn to the Lord your God for He is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth Him of the evil. He said, Joel said, if you'll repent then God will be gracious. He'll be merciful. He'll turn. Amen. Aren't you glad that God is willing to give us revival Amen. His repent. Amen. Amen. Let me move on here real quick. Zechariah 10 and 1 said, Ask ye of the Lord. Rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. I don't know about anybody else. I know some people don't like it, but I just love rain. Amen. I was up where I live now. I was out working one day, and I was walking with a group of people, and they said, what is that smell? I said, I'm country enough to tell you that's the smell of rain. It's getting ready to rain. That's what's fixing to happen. 
And in a few minutes it began to rain. And they said, we ain't never heard of anybody saying they could smell the rain. But there's something about it. It has a freshness. It has a newness about it. But there's just something that comes in the rain. And Zechariah said, ask you the Lord for rain in the latter times. And he ran, I love that old chorus we used to sing. And they said, send down the rain, Lord. Send down the rain. I need the latter rain. Amen. Amen. There's healing in the rain. There's salvation in the rain. We used to just go on and on with it. Amen. But he said, if you'll ask, I'll give it. Matthew God bless. 7, 7, Jesus said, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. Amen. If you ain't receiving, maybe you need to ask. Amen. And ask again. Amen. I ain't got as fancy as some of these modern day preachers say y'all need to ask one time. Ask. Amen. And ask again. Amen. Amen. Matthew 21 and 22 said, In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And ye shall have. Amen. I don't know much Greek and Hebrew, but I do know that word all. I know what it means in Greek and in Hebrew. And I'm going to sound like an old laundry detergent commercial. A double L. That's all. That's what it means. Amen is all. Amen. Amen. John 14 and 13 and said, Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. But God, Jesus said this is how God gets glory, in that when you pray, I answer. And then you give God the glory for the answer prayer. Amen. Amen. Lord, I got behind a little bit on my part of that equation, so I'm going to give you a little extra glory today. Amen. Because he's Bless. still a prayer answer. Amen. God. Bless him, Amen. God. John 16, he said, Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name, I ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Amen. Amen. That your joy may be full. God wants you to have joy. Amen. Day. And he said, To make sure that your joy was full, ask, and you shall receive. Amen. <laughs> James 4 said this. You lust and have not, you kill and desire to have and cannot obtain, you fight more that you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lust. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You want to know the key to getting your prayer answered? Ask. Amen. 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 Consistency. Yeah. There's only one prayer I know of God never answered, and that's the one I never prayed. Bless the Lord. Come on. Amen. He said, ask, and you'll receive. So now we got praise, we got to repent, we got to ask, and I saved the hardest for me for last. When I look at that word pray, it ends in a why. And I thought about a lot of things in Scripture that start with why, a lot of things I could say, but the Lord really dealt with my heart. I'm going to tell you a story before I get to this why. I'll tell you what the why is first, and then we'll go read some Scripture, but I'm going to tell you a story. We've got to yield. If we're going to have revival. Amen. When I was a teenager, my dad bought me a car. He said, we're going to work on it together over the summer. And so I went down over the summer. And he and I were beginning to work on that car. I never did get it fixed, but that's another story for another time. But there was this one part, Brother Blake, we were working on. And I don't know about anybody else, but if I'm going to work on a car, I might as well just take my hand and run down the inside of the engine block and rub up the skin off of all my knuckles at the beginning. Because that's what's going to happen before I get finished anyway. So I might as well go ahead and do that. But I didn't in this case. And as a part, I was trying to get loose. And there was one bolt I just couldn't get loose. And I busted all my knuckles up. And I tried and I strained. And my dad was standing over my shoulder saying, I'll get that for you if you'll let me in there. And I said, no, I got it. And I just kept on and kept on. And after, I guess, about an hour went by. My arms were tired. I throwed about every socket and every ratchet that I could get my hands on all the way across the yard. I know none of the rest of y'all do that. But uh, uh, sometimes to get the tools to cooperate, you got to give them a throw, uh, uh, and then they'll work better. And so finally, I just got so frustrated, I said, fine. And what had taken me an hour and a lot of pain and a lot of struggle and raw knuckles and a bruised hand, it took him about 30 seconds to do because he knew how to do it. Amen. Bless him, Lord. And all I had to do the whole time was just step over and say, here. Yield, amen. You do it. Here. That's all I had to do the whole time. 
And can I tell you, there's been some times spiritually that I've got bloody and I've got sore and I've got tired and I've got bruised <laughs> just because I wouldn't get out the way. Amen. Bless him, Jesus. Matthew 16 said, Then said Jesus to his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Yield to me, Jesus. Amen. Said. Uh, amen. Take up your cross and follow me. Uh, uh, let me be the leader. You don't got to do it all. <laughs> Amen. Some people uh, uh, come to church spiritually exhausted because they're trying to do everything. Amen. Amen. They're trying to carry every burden. Uh, amen. They're trying to uh, be the burden bearer for their entire family. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, they carry every burden, every sickness, every sorrow, every pain, every disappointment for everybody. Uh, and they're exhausted. Uh, and Jesus still has that open invitation. Uh, uh, come unto me, all ye that labor uh, and are heavy laden. Uh, and I'll give you a you just yield to me. Uh, amen. I'll give you rest. Now, if you'll just give it to me, I'll carry it for you. Now, if you'll just move over, I'll do it for you. Amen. Now, amen. Amen. I can't tell you how many times I've said I've done all I could do. Except the one thing I should have done, which is just get out of God's way. Bless amen. him, God. I said I serve a good God and he knows what's best. Amen. And so I ought to just let him handle it sometimes. James 4 and 7 said, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We like that last part where it says, Resist the devil and he'll flee. Amen. I like when he flees. And then I like that old song we used to sing that said, He's a sly old fox. If I would, I'd catch him and put him in a box and throw away the key for all the tricks he's played on me. I hate that lying devil. Amen. Amen. But before I can resist him and make him flee, i got to do another part. It said, Submit yourselves to God. Amen. I don't have an answer for the devil in myself, but the King of Glory has got an answer. Amen. I just need to submit to Him. Amen. Last verse. We're going to close after this verse. Brother Aaron, if you'll come, get us one more song ready, brother, if you'll do that for us. Proverbs 3 says this, very familiar scripture, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He'll direct thy paths. If we'll yield. I don't know about you, but I need revival. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I found a way, a formula in the Bible, if you ever have it. And it starts with praise. Amen. And it starts with repenting. And it starts with asking. I don't know about you, but God's did some things in my heart this week. Amen. And I don't want it to end this morning. Amen. When this service ends today, I'm going to go back home. I'm done. My time here is over. But church revival don't have to be over. Amen. Amen. You can ask God, Lord, do a work in me. Lord, don't let it end today. Amen. Let revival go on. Amen. Amen. Let it continue on. Let us see souls saved. Amen. Let us see lives changed. Amen. We ask that this morning. Amen. And lastly, if we'll just yield. We'll say, God, my life is yours. I spent most of my life up until this point running away from God. Amen. But Lord, if you'll have me, I'll spend the rest of my life running for you. Amen. Lord, I'll spend the rest of it running for you. Amen. Lord, I'll just give it to you. Whatever you want to make of it, God, I trust you. Amen. Aren't you glad the clay can trust the potter? This Amen. Amen. I was trying to close before I cried, but I don't care. I ain't ashamed. I want the Lord to do a work. Amen. Amen. I want Him to do it in me. I want Him to do it in you. Yes. Amen. I want Brother Blake to call me next week and say we're still having revival. I want him to call me next month and say we're still having revival. I want him to call me six months from now and say people are still being saved. They're still being delivered. We're still having revival. Amen. And you can have it if we'll just yield. Amen. If we'll just ask, if we'll just repent. Lord, I'm going to ask you if you again this morning, if you'll bow your head and close your eyes.